Tonight, the city of Kyle will consider an anti-eviction ordinance. It follows the emergency measure Austin passed last month. The ordinance gives renters a 60-day grace period to come up with a payment plan. KXAN's Tahara Rahman spoke with one Hayes County resident who is hoping for that extra protection. It made me cry because I was just like, how could they do this to us? Sunday, Michelle Moreno says she got this notice to vacate her apartment. She lost her job after the COVID-19 outbreak and is having trouble paying rent. Right now, I'm trying to hold on to what little I've got. She gets a little grace period for now because the state of Texas put those eviction hearings on hold. By the time the constables get all of those served, depending on how many they are, it could be toward the end of May before we hear them all. Could this give renters some peace of mind to know that they can stay in their apartment until that eviction hearing is done, which could be the end of May? Yes, absolutely. The city of Kyle is considering going a step further with an anti-eviction ordinance that would stop these notices from going out in the first place. If you get a notice that your rent is due, that is an appropriate notice to receive. What's not appropriate is for a landlord to send notice that your contract is terminated and you have three days to exit the premises while we are under a shelter in place order. Kyle Mayor Travis Mitchell says if the court process is on hold, landlords should use that time to work with renters. You should give them an opportunity to bring their accounts back full. It's really not changing that much in terms of the legal process. Moreno says that extra time would help her. No one's trying to get out of paying their rent. You can't live anywhere for free. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. If passed tonight, Austin, or rather Kyle's anti-eviction notice could go into effect immediately. Each violation could result in fines up to $1,000. Kyle's mayor says landlords will still be able to charge late fees. The Texas Supreme Court has extended its moratorium on most evictions until April 30th, but there are two exceptions. If the landlord can show that the tenant, members of their household or guests pose an imminent threat or physical of physical harm, or if there's any criminal activity, that's when a landlord can ask the court for permission to proceed.